Treasury will be seeking to amend the Finance Bill 2012, which is meant to give the government the authority to collect and spend taxes. The bill was rejected by President Mwai Kibaki in October after members of parliament amended the finance bill to increase their severance package to over 2.1 billion shillings. Even now, said the bill would have seen the over 220 members of parliament take home 9.3 million shillings each at the end of their term in January next year. Gedai, however, says the government cannot afford to shoulder the extra burden due to the budgetary constraints it's facing. We know we have the, we have this incident in Paraguay uh, where uh, the military in conjunction with the police has been deployed, uh, that is going to be heavy on Treasury. This will require Treasury to raise additional funding way beyond the revenues that the Kenya Revenue Authority can afford to generate, necessitating the introduction of taxes on mobile money transfer services and molten beer. Already some mobile service providers have eliminated the transaction fees on their money transfer services in an attempt to evade the tax. But Treasury says no operator will escape the dragnet. I'm looking for an opportunity. Uh, to impose a minimum charge per transaction. In other words, whether you make it free, uh, you still be required to pay a minimum charge. Treasury is, however, seeking to avoid a long-drawn standoff to enable the authorization of spending for the forthcoming general elections, bearing in mind that members of parliament have two weeks to go before parliament is dissolved. Henry Gedaiga, Citizen Business.